fourth lesson we are going to study about detail the each and every subjects okay so it might be a liquid it might be a uh, solid or gaseous state okay but what are the properties apart from this what solid liquid gases we are talking about only these things but what are what are the properties apart from this okay that we are going to study about here okay one more thing here i want to clear over here see uh, every day we are using the uh, things that is matter substances then after elements compounds but exactly we don't know what is the difference in between them what is the difference in between them so now here in this lesson we are going to clarify everything what we call the uh, matter what we call the substances what is the elements and what is the components okay so now today's our lesson is about the lesson number 14 that is on elements compounds and the mixture okay uh, before going to the start the lessons the questions which has given on the basis of next please on the basis of what some questions has been given over there okay now before going to the lessons in this lesson what we are going to learn at the end of this lesson you will clear uh, the things which has given on the screen you can see uh, see over here see after finishing the lesson you can clarify what is the matter what are the properties of matter then after substances to whom we can call the substances what is matter so what is mass volumes elements number of elements symbols of elements okay how can how can give a symbol to the elements then what is compound what is combustion and this last point there is molecular formula this points are we are going to study okay so first of all matter what is matter hmm? what are the components of matter the so all the things we are going to learn about this okay next please now here before going to the lesson here some question has been given over there which you can see on the screen my first question is what how many different states of matter are there name them okay now you can share your answer in the chat box okay now first uh, how many different different states of matter are there in name them yes you earlier i said there are three states what the solid state liquid state or gaseous state these are the states okay next question is what what brings about a change a change of a state of matter that means what what the things is there just because of that the things is get converted into the state different state the answer is what the temperature you know what the ice cube when you uh, when you provide heat to the ice cube the ice cube get converted into a liquid again when you pro give heat or uh, when you provide heat to the uh, liquid that means water so again the water is converted into water vapor the same thing it is the changes in the state just because of what the temperature again when you <coughs> when you reduce the heat from water vapor again the water vapor will convert into a liquid again liquid when you reduce the heat from the liquid when you put uh, your, your liquid or water in the freezer so what will you get again you will get the uh, ice cube so this is the phenomenon which is just happen because of the temperature okay, so temperature is the more important thing to changes the, the state of matter okay now what are the properties of matter so here we can see over here the mat properties of matter so what is exactly matter that we are going to study further but now properties what we can say the properties of density then after color mass volume then after length uh, the new concept is malleability melting point of the things then hardness order temperature and many more are the properties so each and the substance suppose if you think about the one thing or suppose if you think about your mobile so my mobile which is made of from a plastic or rubber you can say which is made of from plastic but every substances which are not made of from same substances understood suppose your coin coin which is made of from the metal your uh, jewelry okay it might be a ring 
so the substances which has made up from the different kind of substances or the things the property the uh, the property of matter having the different properties next next question is what do all the substances have the same property see the question is what do all the substances have the same property is it right all substances having the same property definitely not because of each and every substance which is made from what different substances earlier i said the furniture which is made from the wood then uh, your geometry box which is made from the uh, metal okay so your uh, mobile screen which is made from the glass so the substances which are not made from the one substances so definitely the property will not be the same understood so these are the questions which is based on the previous standard that already you have learned the standard 6 okay next ma'am so now here the properties of matter what is property what is matter okay before going to the matter here the classify following substances by their properties see here some substances has been given there so you has to be classified as per their properties okay earlier what i said there solid liquid and gases there three states are there okay three states are there there but apart from this the properties are the conductor of good or not conductor are they malleability or not their ductility these are the properties so as per the uh, properties we has to be classified into them so water thermocol soil then iron coal paper rubber copper coir or plastic these are the substances which has given over here but now the first question is what water what is the state of water yes <clears throat> what is the state of water it is in a in which form water is in liquid form okay but apart from this are they having an <clears throat> are the water having an property yes the water is there is a fluidity then of uh, then after the boiling points so if you think about the boiling point all, all the uh, given uh, substances you can see the boiling point is also the different the melt, melting point it is also the different so yes. <coughs> conductor also yes if you think about the conductor the conductivity of electricity and the heat they also i mean suppose here they if you think of the thermocol thermocol is not the conductor of neither uh, electricity or heat understood <clears throat> so there, there isn't between there isn't difference between all these things okay <clears throat> now next soil soil is a natural resources we can say over here but it's a substance it's a matter so <clears throat> what are the properties of soil are the same properties of thermocol and soil are the soil or water yes no definitely not because of each and every substance which is made up from the different substances iron it's a metal okay the iron <coughs> they having a capacity to, to conduct the heat or electricity uh, electricity okay then after they having a malleability they having a conductivity okay now coal coal it's an uh, the source of energy we can get heat uh, from the coal okay so <coughs> the the coal it is also having a different property the paper yes paper what is the property of paper rubber rubber is a non conductor of heat the rubber is a non conductor of heat as well as non conductor of electricity okay that means what like what we can say see see your utensils your kitchen utensils okay suppose your pressure cooker have you have you ever observed that your the handle of pressure cooker cooker which is made up from the plastic yes okay so why why it is why the plastic uh, plastic coated has been given for the handle of the cooker or any utensils okay so there is a reason behind this because of the uh, rubber is a bad conductor of heat so you will not get any type of injury just because of the uh, we can say heat or the electricity okay now see uh, have you ever saw the uh, the electrician while working he is using the what uh, 
what we can say the instrument they are using what the instrument they are using which is covered the plastic because of or rubber we can say so here it's a bad conductor again we can say the your uh, electric wire electric wire electrical supply, electrical appliances which is made from the rubber or plastic so these are the substances which are not a capacity to carry the electricity or to carry the heat from one place to another place that is bad conductor now copper copper it's a metal okay he having an uh, the copper uh, having a different characteristic the different property than the rubber okay now plastic the same thing about the plastic okay so now if you think about the substances you have to be classified as per their properties now the next question what are objects made up of see the things has given the objects has been given but the objects made up of so every subject we have every object which is made up from the different material different matter now here what are the these articles to every day we we made up of that is electrical wires kitchen kitchen utensils nails tablets sorry tables and chairs window window pans soils and salt and sugar see these are the things the things which is made up from the different parts so if you think about the electrical wire in electrical wire there is an uh, copper wire is also there then uh, iron wire is also there okay so we can use as per our requirement now kitchen utensils see you can the pot which is available in your uh, kitchen so the, the uh, way, uh, utensil which is made up from the different what different things or different substances nails table tables and chairs now in this we are using what plastic plastic is also plastic wood these are the things okay now <clears throat> the next point is what matter what is called as the matter matter kise kaha jata hai okay now what are the properties of matter <clears throat> next please ma'am now it can be a solid liquid and the gaseous state see now if you think about the matter so matter is a liquid gaseous or solid state so apart from this apart from the what character is there now we can say that an object is made up from the sub, uh, certain subject any object you can take any object you can think the object which is from which is made up from your certain substance suppose your bag school bag so what do you think the school bag which is made up from the different subject understood <clears throat> so what does it mean it the term is also used as a synonymous substance okay the terms which is used as a synonym of a substance in scientific language how your a single term is used to single concept and that which an object which is made up from the matter see many of the times you may heard the word what is the matter matter in this sort what is the cause behind of this okay this as i given the example of bag so bag which is made up from your clothes or leather we can say so this is the matter okay now only a single term is used for single concept in the scientific lang language we can say the single terms is used and sing, uh, for a single concept and that which an object which is made up from the soil matter okay now here <clears throat> the properties of matter they are saying that is property uh, earlier i said they, they might be a, a solid liquid and gaseous state responsible their properties okay but now <coughs> now here <coughs> in day to day life we are using the many things in your surrounding we touch them we study their properties are all these things made up from only one kind of matter or from more than one kind of matter see see uh, now here uh, the title is what use your brain power that means sir already you know the information about this but you has to be think over it okay what they are saying in day to day life is morning to late night we are using the many number of things we are using but the, are the same things we are using the same things the things which which we are using which is made up from the small uh, same material yes or no or one kind or another kinds see 
<clears throat> now as per the your knowledge yes you has to be classified into the things suppose classify the following according to the nature of matter in them whether it is made up from one kind of matter or from more than one kind of uh, one kind of matter see suppose gold see we can uh, we can get the gold from nature okay this is uh, from mine work gold milk water a plank concrete salt soil coal smoke sherbet cook khichdi and the sting these are the examples has been given so how will you classify see what they are saying the <clears throat> here we can say that we can say that the things which is made up from the different part of different state that is solid liquid and gases so here as if you think about the these three things that is uh, solid liquid and gases first apart from this there are cavic characteristics suppose the first example has been given gold see gold is a solid if you think about the solid substances so many are there which are the solid substances here the an engraved idol gold a plank concrete salt soil gold and cook khichdi these are the solid substances okay next if you think about the liquid if you want to classify it as per their solid liquid and gases so in the liquid state you can get the milk water and sherbet then in the gaseous state the smoke and steam okay but this is as per the state of liquid state of substances but if you think about the conductivity yes if the if the substance the having and conducted you are not so how will you conduct see gold gold is a conductor of electricity or heat then after water yes then uh, a plank plank means what it's a uh, wooden sheet that we are using making uh, we are using to make the furniture okay that is concrete cement concrete that we are that not the the conduct not having the capacity to conduct the heat or uh, electricity then solve the same thing is there now there is an only thing that is what that is conduct the gold uh, gold and water next we can say the fluidity fluidity it's a property of the, the substances there is an only things that is milk and what milk sherbet they only having a capacity to 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 flow from one place to an there as per their slope next <clears throat> next point is what if you think about the melting point so what is the melting point of gold what is the uh, melting point of milk water so each and every substance they are having a melting point as well as boiling point okay so concept boiling point when you provide heat and it starts to boil that is boiling point okay and what is melting point melting point means what when you provide heat or when you increase the heat of the substance it the substance which turns into a next state suppose gold gold it is, we can uh, get in a solid state but when you provide heat when you increase the heat of the gold it will turn into a liquid state that means what the point when the point when the gold is starting to melt that is the melting point of gold so melting point of the all the things which are different as per their properties okay or as per their characteristics now here uh, smoke only gaseous state that is smoke and steam only two things are there so you can classify as per their as per their the substances which uh, whether it is made up from one kind of matter or another kind of matter okay now <clears throat> another way we can say now the next next concept we are going to learn about the volume and the mass okay but before that there is an activity that the fill a glass of water up to the brim okay and drop a small stone in it what what happens next please yes the first is what see here the full of <coughs> the glass is full of water you can see over here and the second picture you can see a balance okay now uh, fill a glass fill glass of water up to the brim drop a small stone it what happens see when you put a small stone in the glass which is full of water so what will happen what you can see over there 
So some amount of water will be come out of the glass because of already the glass which have which do not having an any capacity to hold the water. So when you put a when you put stone or marble in it, so the amount of the water will come out because of the substance which having a definite shape, which having a definite volume. Okay, so in this in this experiment, we can say here when you put a big stone, so large amount of water will come out, and when you put small, the small amount of water, see so there is depend upon the volume of the stone, volume of that marble. Okay, so why this happening? Because of the st uh, stone which having a definite shape, which having a volume. Okay, so now in the next, take a balance, place a small stone in one pan and big stone in the others. Which pan goes down and why? See, there is a pan, there is a balance. Okay, see this type of balance you have, uh, you may saw in the shop. Okay, provision shop. So there you can see over there. So when you go, go to the shop, so the shopkeeper, what will you do? You will put a, a weight in one pan and the sugar in the next pan. So you will get the balance. So that means or the amount of sugar you want, you want to uh, buy or purchase. So you will get the particular uh, amount. But now, the, here you can say well, there are two stone one small stone in the one pan the second stone in the uh, big stone in the second pan so which pan will go down or why what is the real reason behind this because of the uh, stone which having a more volume that means what it applies more gravity on it so that's why the pan which have, will go down which having a more volume or more weight more mass okay so that is cause behind this now here if you think about the volume the amount of space that something contain or fills see now here what is volume volume means of the amount of space that something contain or fills suppose there is a uh, glass so how much water you can fill over there that is the volume of that glass okay so your bottle, <coughs> bottle. So what amount of water you will add or fill in that bottle? So that is the volume of that bottle. Understood? So the uh, volume, volume is the three-dimensional space occupied by the substances of enclosed by the substances. There is a three-dimensional uh, concept. Three-dimensional concept. So you can <coughs> see over here. Suppose. In the next we will see that is uh, take a balance balance that is mass or weight we can see okay so what is the difference between mass and weight see you can say here uh, we are using this balance to uh, to measure the weight but there is a little bit difference in the mass and the weight now here <coughs> to talk about how much matter there is in the something yes mass means what there isn't matter how much matter is consist in the things or with the subjects next <clears throat> matter is anything you can touch it physically see matter is what matter is anything you can touch it physically see suppose if you think about the uh, matter so you can touch it but you cannot touch the weight okay so that means what or uh, mass or weight are considered as the same but weight is as uh, determined by the gravity see there about the little bit difference in the mat or the uh, weight many of the time we consider it as the same but the uh, <coughs> the uh, difference it is that the mass means what the things which having in their matter suppose if you think about the ball which is made from the rubber okay the ball will be same the mass will be the same but when you measure the ball on the earth surface so you will get the different weight and the same ball when you go to another planet so you will you can see you can see the changes in the weight that means what 
the mass of the ball is always same at the any place or any other planet but their weight will be changed because of the gravity of that planet it acts on the mass so it's it's a difference between the mass and weight okay now <coughs> next point we'll move to the next point that is was substances ab substances sikha jata hai many kinds of matter found in the nature are in the pure, uh, pure form see many kinds of matters it might be a coal then uh, silver then after uh, your gold iron okay many things we found in the nature in the pure form that is they contain only one continuous one constituents that is why they only contain only one thing one con con composition we can say one constituents in the scientific language matter are made of only one constituent is called as what substance understood <clears throat> see now here yes, suppose the example has been given the gold when you found in from the nature it is in the pure form okay so then after we we make uh, we make it a uh, jewelry or different type of articles different type of jewelry we can make but it is found in the pure form okay so next we need diamond we, we can get from the nature then water sorry there is a little bit uh, spelling mistake there water and then see water we can found in the pure form then after we we purified it then we we make some some process on it so the things which is the which is made from one only things that is what substance and whenever the things which is made from one or more than one substance that is called as the mixture understood see there is a difference between two many of the time we used to say that uh, uh, what about the mixtures mixtures means or why the things you have added why why you have done this mixture ye mixture apne kyu kiya so many of the times we we heard that we we also use the same word that is mixture but mixture means or when the things which is made from more than one things suppose here the as an example has been given that is sea water so sea water which is made up from the water and the salt what water and salt that is what sea water okay but it consists water is there and salt is there okay salt that is nacl or h2o that is molecular formula that we will uh, we'll learn further next one is what smog smog that is smoke and fog c cement here yeah. cement sand then after sand and just say water okay and gravel these are the three three things which is made from a which is made a cement okay so now here you can see over here when you, whenever the things which is made up from the different materials or different thing that is what mixture okay now next so i think so all you clear about the this uh, this point now your next point is what elements what is called as elements okay now here you can see over here take a water in the teapot see there are two pictures take up water in the teapot and cover it heat the water to a boil what do you see on the inside the lid yes <clears throat> what can you say take a water in the teapot see there is an uh, pots that means what uh, utensils okay and heat the water to a boil what do you see inside the lid what do you see yes you can see the water droplets collected on the inside of the lid of the teapot are formed by the condensation of the vapor from boiling water water in the form of vapor is composed of extremely tiny particles and therefore we cannot even see them you will see the okay you will see the water droplets can you see the vapor water droplets yes that means what <clears throat> what does it mean when you provide when you give heat or when you heat heat the water so water will convert into a water vapor 
so there is no space to go out so it will be st stuck to the uh, that lead so you can see over here that the water droplets are there but there there are water droplets yeah, there is a number of water droplets are collect, collected uh, uh, inside the uh, lead then only you can see but water droplet droplets are very thin or very tiny particles even we cannot see the water droplets with your naked eyes okay and the second example is there yes fill water in spray pump and spray the water and observe the spray see here here are some pictures what the farmers are doing or uh, they are spraying on the in the field they are working okay so now here we can see over there see all the pictures they are, they are spraying so here uh, they are using the hand pump and the last picture they are using the i think the tractor is there so with the help of tractor with the help of machine they are spraying the uh, pesticides or insecticide on the crops okay but clearly you can see over here the water droplets yes water droplets it might be from the hand pump or the uh, the pumps which has used on a tractor okay so there is an water droplet that means a tiny particles which goes on the each and every parts of the crop so what will you observe here you will see that the spray is also composed of small particles of water there is a small particles of water uh, similarly all substances are made up of the extremely tiny particle and the smallest particle of substances are called molecule see here while spreading a spray or <clears throat> at in the uh, utensils you can see the water tiny particles water particles okay that is called as the molecule okay in the scientific language that is called as the molecule but the substances whose molecules are made of one or more atoms which are exactly alike that is called as the elements now in this topic we are talking about the elements okay so earlier what i said yes with <clears throat> the activity of the uh, utensils you when you heat the water so water get converted to water vapor it will be stick to the uh, <clears throat> inside the lid so you can see the water droplets are there in the next picture the farmer are spraying the uh, insecticides okay so you can see the water droplets also there so the tiny particle of droplet uh, tiny particle of droplet that is called as the molecule and whenever the molecule uh, many one or many molecule can, uh, forms a substance that is called as an element okay a substance whose molecules are made up of one or more atoms which are exactly alike that is what elements okay <clears throat> now here we do not get the different substance by the decomposition of an element see what they are saying we cannot get the other substances by the decomposition of elements the smallest particle of elements are made up of only one type of water the smallest particle of elements smallest particle of elements <clears throat> are made up of only one type of atoms we cannot we cannot see atoms with the naked eyes but when crores of atoms are come together their total volume is large enough to visible to our eyes okay now what they saying atoms it's a tiny particle even we cannot see with the naked eyes but whenever the crores crores of atoms come together okay then we can see a water droplets with the or the water droplets are visible to our eyes the mass and volumes of atoms of different elements are different see earlier we are learn about the volume and the mass okay but there is a diff, uh, different even whenever the different uh, atoms is there the volume and mass is all mass is also different okay the uh, <clears throat> mass is depend on the size many of the time this is depend on the size but there is a some exceptional uh, examples are there suppose balloon okay balloon when you blow a balloon there is a big in size but there is mass is very <clears throat> less okay so these are these are about the elements okay now here yeah, <clears throat> if you think about the detail of elements so next ma'am there are <clears throat> near about 118 elements are there the scientists have discovered 800 118 elements of this 92 elements occur in nature 
while remaining are man made see there are out of 118 92 elements we gets where we got from the nature but remaining the things which is made, which is man made okay the scientist has discovered the remaining things now here <clears throat> some naturals are given natural elements has given that is hydrogen oxygen nitrogen carbon iron mercury copper are a few of the important natural elements more few elements are being through the research work see here one more thing i just want to tell over here see out of this elements some are natural or some are man made but now here hydrogen okay just before just ahead of that hydrogen i have written capital h in the bracket oxygen that is o okay these are the symbol of this elements that we are using in the uh, chemical reactions okay <clears throat> you understood now out of this or many works has been going over there to uh, to make or to discover the uh, more and more elements now next now here this is about the elements next ma'am please now next we got oxygen we are talking oxygen now in this you may heard many of the times what is the important oxygen oxygen level okay so what is oxygen oxygen is an element it's a which is found in the natural uh, nature in the gaseous form okay have you ever saw oxygen see in front of you the oxygen is flowing hmm? yeah oxygen is uh, oxygen is situated over there have you ever saw no because oxygen which is in the form of gases the particle the molecule molecule the particles of oxygen very tiny particles are there so we cannot see with the naked eyes the oxygen so now here oxygen occurs in the nature in the gaseous state two atoms of oxygen are joined to form a molecule of oxygen which has an independent ex existence oxygen in air is always in molecular state just like atom molecule also cannot be see with the naked eyes what they are saying the oxygen which is in the nature with the gaseous form two atom of oxygen that is o2 two atoms of oxygen are joined to form a molecule of oxygen okay there is a two atom to form an oxygen which has an independent existence they are having their own place they are having their own existence okay oxygen in the air is a molecular state they are in the molecular state state now just like atoms molecules also cannot be seen with the naked eye the same way atom we cannot see with the naked eye molecule you cannot say that the same thing about the oxygen we never see that means so we cannot see because of the eyes they do, do not have to see a small a small tiny particle okay next ma'am see there is an uh, one method is there to the nomenclature method nomenclature to the uh, elements but now here see you can see the elements and the symbols over here elements that is hydrogen helium so out of uh, uh, there are total 118 elements are there okay so out of this 100 element uh, 118 elements some uh, elements has been given, given over here so there is an uh, symbol so here while writing or while doing the reaction you cannot write or the spelling so that's why the symbol they have uh, they have been given over here now here say hydrogen what is the symbol of hydrogen that is h what is helium h e lithium l i okay beryllium b e okay boron that means what many are there so you can see over here that is oxygen fluorine neon sodium okay so every elements they are having a their symbol understood now here in day to day life we use short form of many places a similar method is used to indicate the elements see now day to day lives we are using the many min, uh, we are using the many short forms many short form suppose pm pm the capital p and uh, m so pm is sort post meridian and the prime minister here 
PM we are using. Then after HM, okay, HM is short head miss head head mistress or head master. Okay, <clears throat> then after uh, DC. Okay, so many short forms are there. So in this way, here also using a short form in the uh, English script. See the word hydrogen. Hydrogen, the first letter, the capital letter is hydrogen. But if you think about the helium, so we cannot put the same letter for the different elements. So here H E, the helium is there. Okay, now carbon C is there. Chlorine C L. There is a difference. Okay, so that means what we cannot use the same letter to the different elements. So now this scientist, that is Berzelius, was the first to use the a present method of using the symbol of elements. The symbol of an element is written in the English script or it is a short form of its name. See, we can say it's a short form of the uh, name of elements or the, uh, another symbol is there, that is lithium. So we can put the, sorry, helium. We can put H, but already the H, H is given to the hydrogen. So there will be a lot of confusion. So that's why helium, which is used for H. -E. Okay, now the scientist Berzelius, the scientist Berzelius, he has present the method of using the uh, symbol of elements. Now some elements and their symbols are listed in the table alongside when the uh, initial letter in the names of two more elements is the same, the pair of letter is used to write the symbol. Now for example, C, just as I said the example of uh, carbon and chlorine, so carbon, the symbol of carbon is C. But the example as uh, a symbol of chlorine is Cl. We can also okay. So now this is all about the elements or their symbol. Next one. Now your yeah, next point is what elements which is divided into three groups as per their properties. Okay. So now some properties has been given over there. See <clears throat> the first type is of metal. What we call the metal. The second property, second group is what non-metal, and the third one is what metalloid. Okay, so now here <coughs> metals is what C. The metal, the things which having and some properties, the specific properties. The properties are what malleability, then ductility, conductivity of heat and the electricity, then next density, then luster. Sonocity, okay, these are the properties. There is the examples of metals are gold, iron, copper, etc. etc. Okay, so malleability means what? What is malleability? Malleability means what? <clears throat> malleability is the quality of something that can be shaped into something else without breaking. See, malleability, the substance which having a capacity to, <clears throat> to give a required shape without breaking the things okay so if you think about the gold so you can make as you want article as you want uh, jewelry you can make without breaking the okay so you can melt it after the melting the gold you can give a particular definite shape to as you as your requirement as you want to give a shape to the that is malleability okay then ductility Ductility is also the uh, ability to de uh, deform without damage. Okay, so you can form a uh, deform. Again, I reform the <coughs> without any type of damage. Okay, but if you think about the malleability and ductility, so wood, it will be the example of wood. No, we cannot melt it. Okay, when you provide heat to the wood, it will be burned, not melt. Understood? So the wood will not be the example. Now conductivity of the heat and the electricity. Conductivity. They are having a uh, capacity to conduct the heat from one place to another. That is heat or electricity. Okay, density. Uh, density means what? See, there are simple, uh, simple examples of density. Density means what? So how many people are living in your house? That is the density of that house. How much water will be in that glass? The density of that glass. So density is there like that. Then luster. Luster means what? It's a sparkle. The uh, metals which having an luster, that, they, that is uh, their sparkliness, glitters. 
and last one is the sonority sonority means what they are the clear sound of the metals these are the properties of metal but now if you think about the non metal so what is the difference is there yes non metal so non metal whenever the substance which not follow the properties of the metal that all are the non metal understand which do not show the metals property see the metals property which has given the left side of the uh, page that is metals property the substance which not follow this property that means or they are non metal okay so we can say sulfur chlorine phosphorus okay these are the non metal okay and there is another type is there another group is there that is metalloid okay in the metalloid there are the substance which shows some properties of metal and which shows some properties of non metal understood that is what metalloid so example as selenium arsenic and the silicon understood these are the three uh, elements has been given over the three uh, groups of elements that is metal the properties of metal the non metal and the metalloid okay uh now see there is a homework okay what is of non metal then write the two examples of picture the simple simple uh, questions has been given there you can search uh, you can find out your from your textbook okay now in this way we have um, uh, <coughs> we have completed the some point that is uh, matter the properties of matter okay now your activities of there to uh, to show the volume what is mass then so what is substance then what is mixture then after elements is what hmm? then uh, what about their uh, volume and mass then after oxygen what is the important oxygen what is the important of oxy oxygen and the mass of the elements okay now the or one more thing is the elements the group of elements which is divided into three which we have learned but now tomorrow we will see the next point of the same lesson is what mixture uh, doubts no sir okay